Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Beth Chats Books. Now today is going to be a slightly different video. So I remembered that June is my booktube anniversary. So at the beginning of June this year it will be three years since I've been on booktube which has absolutely flown by. In the last two years my channel hasn't really grown exponentially. Obviously in the first year I did see a significant growth. But I do this channel because I love it and not because I'm interested in who's following me and all that jazz. So, you know, I'm going to keep being on booktube as long as people will continue to watch me. So thank you for all the people that have loyally followed me for these three years and actually watch my videos because it does mean a lot for me as somebody who's a very small booktuber. It really does mean a lot. So I was umming and ahhing about what to do to celebrate it because every year I forget when it comes around and then I miss the hype and a lot of people like to celebrate their anniversaries on booktube. So I decided I didn't want to do a Q&A because I've done that for the last two years and the first one was really successful and the second one was a little bit hit and miss and I don't want to do a giveaway or anything like that because I think so many people are buying books at the moment and obviously with it being independent book week I would much prefer people to buy from an independent bookshop and support that and Usually it's a lot of faff. Um, I noticed in my very first year I did a giveaway and it was so stressful and I watched the video and I, I made it really fun and vibrant and but it is a lot of work to then pick people and send it out and with everything with Covid there's delays with things being sent so I didn't actually want that much pressure this year so I've kind of been a bit lazy with that. So I've decided to do something completely different and it was a recommendation from my auntie of all people who said why don't you do a book quiz. So I've decided that is a really great idea so I'm going to do a book quiz. So I'm going to do two quizzes with you. One is 15 questions and one is 30. So what I would recommend if you want to pause this video now get a pen and a notebook or a piece of paper and what I will say is that at the end of the first round of the quiz and then the second round of the quiz just pause the video so that you can check your answers and the questions and then tot up your scores once I give the answers because what I'm going to do on this video is I'm going to tell you the questions I'm going to ask you to pause the video and then I will give you the answer. So obviously if you just watch it in one continuous go, it's not going to be that much fun for you. But I'm hoping that you'll play along and do the right thing and pause it. So I will repeat the questions twice and then I'll give you the answers. Okay, so I'm going to do a practice run with the first quiz, which is 15 questions. So go and get your pen and notepad now. So if you're back, let's start. So the first question is... How many novels did Roald Dahl write? Question number two. What are the four little women sisters called? Number three. In Mrs Dalloway, the reader is told the title character, Clarissa Dalloway, is setting out to buy what in the first line of the novel? Number four. What species in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is described as not actually evil, but bad-tempered, bureaucratic, vicious and callous. Number five, which two countries provide the setting for Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities? Number six, what is the name of the pig in Charlotte's Web by E.B. White? Question number seven, in Pride and Prejudice, who does the youngest Bennett daughter, Lydia, marry? Number eight, what is J. Gatsby's real name? Number nine, which two authors won the Booker Prize in 2019? Number 10, what is the name of Harper Lee's second novel which was published in 2015? Number 11, which Shakespeare play features the characters Bianca, Rodrigo and Lodvico? Number 12, what is the name of the tribe of man-eating giants which feature in Homer's The Odyssey? Number 13, Sally Rooney's novel Normal People has recently been adapted into a BBC3 drama, but what is the name of her first novel published in 2017? Number 14, what was the first name of Agatha Christie's Miss Marple? And finally, number 15, which British Prime Minister was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature? So I'm going to quickly go through those questions again before I give you the answers. So, question number one, how many novels did Roald Dahl write? Question number two, what are the four little women sisters called? 
Number three, in Mrs Dalloway, the reader is told that the title character, Clarissa Dalloway, is setting out to buy what in the first line of the novel? Number four, which species in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is described as not actually evil, but bad-tempered, bureaucratic, officious and callous? Number five, which two countries provide the setting for Charles Dickens' A Tale of Two Cities? Number six, what is the name of the pig in Charlotte's Web by E.B. White? Number seven, in Pride and Prejudice, who does the youngest Bennett daughter Lydia marry? Number eight, what is Jay Gatsby's real name? Number nine, which two authors won the Booker Prize in 2019? Number 10, what is the name of Harper Lee's second novel, which was published in 2015? Number 11, which Shakespearean play features the characters Bianca, Rodrigo and Lord Vico? Number 12, what is the name of the tribe of man-eating giants which feature, which feature in Homer's The Odyssey? Number 13, Sally Rooney's novel Normal People has recently been adapted into a BBC Three, BBC Three drama. What is the name of her first novel published in 2017? Number 14, what was the first name of Agatha Christie's Miss Marple? And number 15, which British Prime Minister was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature? So I would ask you to pause that now and just go through those questions and check that you're happy. And then unpause. So if you've unpaused now, I'm going to give you the answers to the first round of this quiz, which is these 15 questions I've asked you. So answer number one was 19, so Roald Dahl had 19 novels. Answer number two is Meg, Joe, Beth and Amy are the four March sisters. Number three is Flowers. Number four is Vogons. Number five is London and Paris. Number six is Wilbur. Number seven is George Wickham. Number eight is James Jimmy Gatz. Number nine is Margaret Atwood and Bernadine Evaristo. Number ten is Go Set a Watchman. Number eleven is Othello. Number twelve is Leistria Gyanins. Leistria Gyanons. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, I've actually never read the um I've never read the Odyssey, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, but I'm presuming if you got the right answer you know how that's pronounced anyway. Um number 13, Conversations with Friends. Number 14, Jane, and number 15, Sir Winston Churchill. So that is quiz number one. So if you want to take a brew break or whatever and come back to me, or you want to scrap that paper or count up your number now for round one. And I'm going to do 30 questions for round two. So get that new piece of paper out and let's get cracking. So number one, which character travelled around the world in 80 days? Number two, what was the girls' school created by Ronald Searle and portrayed in several comedy films? What was the name of the girls' school? Number three, which author created the aggressive, lethal plants called Triffids? Number four, name the Scottish school teacher played by Maggie Smith in the film of Muriel Sparks' novel. Number five, according to Fable, which animal did the tortoise beat in a race? Number six, who wrote The Last of the Mohicans? Number seven, name the young hero of Treasure Island. Number eight, in which book by William Golding are Piggy and Ralph shipwrecked? Number nine, Victor Hugo wrote the, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. What was his other famous book, The Story of an Escaped Convict? Number ten, which character in David Copperfield by Charles Dickens always insisted that he was very humble? Number eleven, in what London street did Sherlock Holmes live? Number twelve, under, under what name is the author Samuel Langhorne Clemens better known? Number 13, in which novel does the heroine finally marry Mr. Rochester? Number 14, whom did Minnie Haha marry in Longfellow's poem? Number 15, Peter Yustinov has portrayed Agatha Christie's detective Herculean Poirot in films. What nationality was Poirot? Number 16, in a 17th century novel, Don Quixote decides to become a knight. What does he begin attacking because he mistakes them for a row of giants? Number 17, by what romantic name was Sir Percy Blakeney known in Baroness's Orcsey's novel? Number 18, which novelist wrote of a farm run by pigs and of the imaginary world of 1984? Number 19, name the character who visits Lilliput and Brobdingnag. 
Number 20, Carrie and the Shining were both successful films. Who wrote the novels on which they were based? 21, which character lived at Sunnybrook Farm? Number 22, which best-selling novelist was the youngest member of the British House of Commons in 1969? Number 23, two novels by Al Silito were filmed in the 1960s. One was The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. What was the other? Number 24, Jeeves was the perfect butler. Who was his employer? Number 25, in 1991, the sequel to Gone with the Wind, written by Alexandra Ripley, was published. What was the title? Number 26, who wrote Sense and Sensibility? Number 27, Pip is the main character of which book by Charles Dickens? Number 28, what are the two characters called in Normal People? Number 29, who wrote On Beauty and White Teeth? And number 30, name the first book in the Noughts and Crosses series. So that was quite a tongue twister for me. So let's quickly go back through those 30 questions and refresh your memory. So number one, which character travelled the world in 80 days? Number two, what was the name of the girls school created by Ronald Searle and portrayed in several comedy films? Number three, which author created the aggressive lethal plants called Triffids? Number four, name the Scottish school teacher played by Maggie Smith in the films of Muriel Sparks' novel. Number five, according to Fable, which animal did the tortoise beat in a race? Number six, who wrote The Last of the Mohicans? Number seven, named the young hero of Treasure Island. Number eight, in which book by William Golding are Piggy and Ralph shipwrecked? Number nine, Victor Hugo wrote The Hunchback of Notre Dame. What was his other famous book? The Story of an Escaped Convict. Number ten, which character in David Copperfield by Charles Dickens always insisted that he was very humble? Number 11, in what London street did Sherlock Holmes live? Number 12, under what name was the author Samuel Langhorne Clemens better known? Number 13, in which novel did the heroine finally marry Mr Rochester? Number 14, whom did Minnie Haha -ha marry in Longfellow's poem? Number 15, Peter Ustinov has portrayed Agatha Christie's detective Hercule Poirot in films. What nationality? was Poirot. Number 16, in a 17th century novel, Don Quixote decides to become a knight. What does he begin attacking because he mistakes them for a row of giants? Number 17, by what romantic name was Sir Percy Blakeney known in Baroness Orkney's novel? Orkney's novel. Number 18, which, which novelist wrote of a farm run by pigs and of the imaginary world of 1984? Number 19, name the character who visits Lilliput and Brob Ding Nag. Number 20, Carrie and the Shining were both successful films. Who wrote the novels on which they were based? Number 21, which character lived at Sunnybrook Farm? Number 22, which best-selling novelist was the youngest member of the British House of Commons in 1969? Number 23, two novels by Alan Stilito were filmed in the 1960s. One was The Loneliness of the Long Distance Runner. What was the other? Number 24, Jeeves was the perfect butler. Who was his employer? Number 25, in 1991, the sequel to Gone with the Wind, written by Alexandra Ripley, was published. What was the title? Number 26, who wrote Sense and Sensibility? Number 27, Pip is the main character of which book by Charles Dickens? Number 28, what are the two characters called in Normal People? Number 29, who wrote On Beauty and White Teeth? And number 30, name the first book in the Noughts and Crosses series. So, we finally got there. So take a pause if you want to, have a cup of tea and come back. You are allowed officially to pause now. And if you've unpaused, then I'm ready to give you the answers to the second half of the quiz. So the answers are number one is Phileas Fogg. Number two is St. Trinian's. Number three is John Wyndham. Number four is Miss Jean Brodie. Number five is a hack. Number six is James Fenimore Cooper. Number seven is Jim Hawkins. Number eight is Lord of the Flies. Number nine is Les Miserables. Number 10 is Yuriha Heap. Number 11 is Baker Street. Number 12 is Mark Twain. Number 13 is Jane Eyre. Number 14 is Hiawatha. Number 15 is Belgian. Number 16 is Windmills. Number 17 is The Scarlet Pimpernel. Number 18 is George Orwell. Number 19 is Gulliver. Number 20 is Stephen King. Number 21 is Rebecca. Number 22 is Geoffrey Archer. Number 23 is Saturday Night and Sunday Morning. Number 24 is Bertie Wooster. 
number 25 is Scarlet, number 26 is Jane Austen, number 27 is Great Expectations, number 28 is Connell and Marianne, number 29 is Zadie Smith, and number 30 is Black and White. So there we have it. There is my epic three years on booktube, two quizzes in one. So I would love it if you totted up your scores and let me know in the comments down below. I would like to know who the high scorers of these quizzes are and we can have a little bit of a chat. I'm happy with this quiz. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll also link down below the websites where I got these quizzes from because if I'm being honest, I didn't actually write them myself. I just took them from the internet. So, but there we go, you had fun. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye now.